let's start here. Very good. This is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 2, Themes and Snippets, Part 2. In today's episode, we reflected further on working with the two tonalities, 2552 and 3443R. We want to continue working with those and we spent a lot of time labeling the note functions. We looked for common notes with differing functions. We looked for common chords with differing functions. And we began adding backbones and chords. So our results are, first of all, we clarified some definitions. What is a shadow scale? You take two scales, call one the light, which has a higher consonance, call one the dark, which has a lower consonance. The union is called the shadow. The notes that are not in the union are called the bright. Notes common to light and dark are called shadow common, and notes that are not in both are called the shadow uncommon. So we completed that. This is a similar looking diagram from our last stream, but this is using different scales. 3443R, 2552, there's the consonances and the as we said, the light is higher and the dark is lower. We only have one note not used, G flat. So that quote unquote is our bright scale. And here's our shadow fool in our common and uncommon. We also clarified what is a chord concordance. It is a list of chords that are c common to different keys or tonalities, showing their different functions within those tonalities and it's going to give us an opportunity to modulate, to go from 2552 to 3443R, like that. So here is the chord concordance that we completed today. We took all of the, what we're now calling the light chord chords, C34, and the dark chords, C25, etc., put them in a big long list, sorted them, and looked for chords in common. Well, yeah, there they are. The G11 chord has a full dominant function in our dark scale, and it has a dominant function in our light scale. And similarly, G23 has different functions. The same chord starts on a G, and it's a 2-3. So a G2-3 starts on a G. And then it goes two. That's what a G23 is. So we did all that. We finally got down to composing, starting some trial harmonies for both our Raga theme and our Sipe theme. And our Raga theme is uh, this one. And here is the very first trial harmony. And we got that by picking a backbone, what we call an on beat backbone, on the beat. And then for what we call the light scale, the sight scale. And its first is and that's also in the on beat. So next steps uh, we have to figure out our consonances that go over here where it says to be calculated, determined. We have to double check our reference sheets and we want to take the the other cool thing we did is we took our shadow uncommon seven note scale and turned it into a hexatonic parallel scale 
And these are all the chords we found. These are the minor chords, the major chords, and the full tonality chords. And we identified the note functions and the chord functions. So we need to turn this into something that looks like this for what we're going to call 1331 in D flat. And then we will be able to uh, compose using the straight shadow scales. We want to explore more trial harmonies using different chord sets like the shadow ones we just mentioned. And because we have some chords that serve dual roles, we could use these chords within one line of music to kind of jump from the light to the dark and vice versa. And so it would be fun to try some of those. So we have our work cut out for us here. Here we've made placeholders. And what we'll do just to kind of wrap it up is we'll, we'll play this with a cadence and then the offbeat lines. That's on beat. Bang, bang. And then off, on, bang, bang, and then bang, bang. So those bangs are where we're waiting to put some more chords. And the same thing going on over here. This is on the beat. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Now the syncopate. Bang, bang, bang. And offbeat. Bang, bang, bang. So that concludes today's stream. Thank you for your time and attention. Call out to New World Vulture and Live885 for your questions and comments. Appreciate it as always. Be sure to tune in next time. And as always, keep on streaming.